Well, some young men in Fort Worth wanted to do something to brighten the days of residents at a local nursing home, and so they tackled a do-it-yourself project. And Madison shows us their work in our Ones for Texas report. Good morning, Madison. Hey, good morning, guys. Yeah, Boy Scout Troop 50 in Fort Worth decided they were going to use their handy skills of building to build bird feeders for a local nursing home and then give them to residents so that they have a little bit of ent entertainment outside of their windows each morning. Well, we're kind of hoping that we're, they'll be able to think of maybe their friends or their family or at least just a pleasant distraction from all this craziness going on and when we're hanging them up maybe even someone will be reminded of their past through scouts maybe and that's just something we're really looking forward to being able to do so residents at nursing homes right now are not allowed to have visitors because of the COVID-19 lockdown, but the staff at local nursing homes say that the birds and the squirrels that visit these feeders will provide some much needed enjoyment for the residents. And in total, the troop built 50 bird feeders that are now hanging outside of residents' windows. And while zoos continue to be closed locally, the animals are still having plenty of fun. In fact, they're ex exploring areas of the zoo that they've never seen before. Take a look at this. This is one of the owls at the Dallas Zoo, Hodari. Dallas zookeepers tell me that Hodari has been keeping busy since the zoo has been closed. The milky eagle owl chick explored most of the Wilds of Africa exhibit with her dedicated keepers visiting African painted dogs, warthogs, and more. You can see from all of the head bobbing that Hodari did seem to be both confused and excited by the adventure that they went on. Now, if you are looking for something to keep your kids entertained. We're all running out of ideas. The good news is the Dallas Zoo and the Fort Worth Zoo post videos all the time on their Instagram and Facebook pages that are educational videos, some of which even Russ and Karen are Q&As with the keepers so that you can interact live with those keepers and ask them questions that your kids might want to know.